The next one is the worst kitchen from TV that any of us have ever seen. Anybody have any guesses on the worst, ugliest, the, the, the housewife that had the worst kitchen? You know? Who said it? Tom? Yes. That's Alice Brandon's kitchen. And you can't even see it, right? But Alice has a sink, Alice has that stove, and then Alice has a three foot high ice box that has a block of ice in it that you put in to keep her, her, her uh, food cold. Whether you have the beautiful kitchen, like the one from As Good As It Gets, or you have Alice Brandon's kitchen, hopefully after my speech today, you won't have to be Lieutenant Columba to figure out if your kitchen is going to murder you. And um, I have two more slides. Just hopefully, if you saw a kitchen like this now, you would know that that wouldn't be a good thing. That's in a log cabin. That's not probably a log cabin destined too long for this world. Uh, and this one is my favorite, actually. Um, so I don't know what the thought process that went through this person's mind is. But you know, I'm sure their daughter has very long hair, and she sits on this bench all the time. So um, in a, I'll, I'll answer questions, or maybe we can have a discussion in a minute. Um, I just thought I'd answer um, the two most common questions that I get, just to knock them out of the way so that uh, <laughs> everybody can, can absorb them or whatever, and then maybe disagree with me. But the first question is, is what happens if I have to design the kitchen that way? What if there's no other way but to have the stove on the end of the run, to have the cooktop this, to have it under the window? What if there's no way? And I would tell you that from doing it for a million years, that there's always some way. There's got to be a way. Sometimes I wake up in my sleep. I, I, oh my goodness, I figured it out how we're going to do it. But if you're good enough, or you go to the right person, you shouldn't have to kill people to design the kitchens. And then the other question is, is well, what if this is what my customer wants? Right? What if my customer doesn't care? That's what he has now. Right? This is what I have now, and I'm happy with it. I want it again. Tom Shannon was with me. A couple of months ago, do you remember? We were at the customer's house. He was actually a con general contractor. He was working on his, going to redo, redo his own house. And he had, a, one of the things that we saw here, he had a range right as you entered his back door. And that was the primary entrance to his home. Or when there was mother-in-law came in, everybody who was coming in and out the back door, it's incredibly dangerous. And so he said he wanted to do it again. He wanted to spend money on expensive countertops. He was going to get expensive appliances. He was going to take out some walls. He was going to do all kinds of things. It wasn't a budget thing. He was happy with that. And I said, well, if you let us do the work, we don't actually do the work. All we do is sell cabinetry and do the designs. But if you'll move your doorway from here to, to the window that's just a little bit down the ways, we'd be happy to sell you a kitchen. But we're not going to sell you a kitchen. That's going to endanger your family, and then when somebody does get injured then in your house, then you'll own my house, because I wouldn't be a professional, and eventually that would be a lot of them. 